take any kind of offense they can get from Ron Harper, who has struggled mainly from the outside, so why not take it to the basket? Alonzo Morning hearing the boos from the crowd, and that is rejected by Longley. Just for the record, going... Scotty Pippen. Here's Leonard for three. And on the back tap, handled by Pippen. Jordan going behind the back, Jordan extending off the tip. Michael Jordan with the tip in. It's the Bulls 12, the Heat 2, and Jordan has 8 of the 12 Chicago points. Hardaway on a quick release. Round is blocked by Longley, and it will be Chicago ball. Well, this Incidentally, that tip a moment ago was credited to Dennis Rodman, not Michael Jordan. Both were vying for the loose ball. Longley. Oh, nice ball by Luke Longley hearing the chance of Luke from the crowd. And the Bulls now lead 16-2. to two. Foul is called on Chicago. It's on Longley, who has been in... Foul trouble during the course of the series. That is his second, and Brian Williams hopping off the bench. He'll come on. And, and talking with Pat Riley yesterday, I sensed that he was concerned about his team being satisfied with a bounce-back game. But this is what Luke Longley has to do with Alonzo Mourning, who tries to establish inside position on the transition. You have to start bumping him out high, but the officials want to keep a close eye on all the extra physical uh, uh, contact. I didn't. She hurried over here so she could change that tune and start celebrating. So she's here, and uh, as it's going right now, she might have good reason to celebrate if it keeps going this way. Mark? All right, the second quarter is underway, and Phil Jackson, Chicago Bulls up 33-19. Better news yet for the uh, Bulls. Scotty Pippen, bothered by uh, the injured ankle, went out earlier in the first quarter, making his way back to the Chicago sideline. And in that first quarter, we saw the best execution by the Chicago Bulls to finish Radman. Shot clock winding down. Let's go with the three. And all but he knows Robin is going to do all the other stuff. You can't count on that or expect that from Dennis Robin. You hope he takes a bunch of them and starts fast breaks for your team. Reach and foul on Isaac Austin, who is clearly unhappy about the call. And a technical foul on Austin. The officials are not going to take much. Uh, Austin persisted in showing his uh, disgust about the call, and so he's hit with the tee, and Steve Kerr will shoot. You're right, why they want to set the tone, because they know throughout the course of the game there's going to be a lot of barking, complaining, and looking when you have a Dennis Robin on the floor. I remember last year in the uh, finals in Seattle, Game five, and Dennis Rodman got the second trip up the floor, just looked over to referee Joe Crawford with just a, a mild complaint, and Joe Crawford teed him up, and that set the tone for the rest of the game. So that's what I'm sure the referees talked about coming into this one. Luke Longley on the line for the first time. 79% free throw shooter during the regular season. Luke Longley earlier this year missed 18 games with a a separated shoulder. Pippen has not been a contributor in this first half because of the ankle problem. Kuko delivers to Longley. Luke Longley with his second field goal. And that ends the 7-0 run by Miami. And now with more responsibility on the start. Handling the ball in tentative fashion. But they have picked it up, trailing now by 11. Brian Williams, yes, and it counts. Well, a couple of reasons for Miami's good ball movement is no Jordan or Pipper on the floor defensively. Very good ball movement. But Brian Williams running the floor beautifully after Judd Bushford knocked that ball free to himself. And once again, Brian Williams from the top taking it strong to the hole. I'm Ad Rashad back here in Chicago with an update uh, injury report on Scottie Pippen. They're calling it 
a sprained left foot. They took x-rays. The x-rays are negative, but it's questionable whether or not he's going to return. He was out here trying to stretch it. He said there's a pain in the ball of his foot that he feels when he steps down on it. And he's gone back into the locker room now, I believe, to maybe try another tape job. He's been trying to get it ready to see if he's going to play, but they're saying it's questionable whether or not he will return, and I'll keep you posted. Mark? All right, thanks, Ahmad. It's been a couple of rough uh, days physically for Scotty Pippen against the uh, Miami Heat, but the, the bench has, has done the job. As you can see, Brian Williams has uh, had a, a terrific series. Nine minutes today, eight points, and uh, Tony Kukoc contributing in his 11 minutes. Oh, Brian Williams had a very strong second half in game four, playing with some foul problems as the Bulls made that furious comeback. Bulls controlling the boards, and Longley with the tip. He has seven points. Chicago up 48-33. And Phil Jackson staying with the big front line of Longley and Brian Williams to try to counter Austin and Alonzo Mourning. And Miami doing nothing to get Alonzo Mourning the ball inside. Austin is fouled. Alonzo Mourning has attempted only one shot reminiscent of what took place in game three. Only one of four with the uh, nine turnovers. Uh, Alonzo has not been into this game. And Luke Longley just nudging and pushing Alonzo Mourning too far underneath the basket to get up and rebound. Alonzo Mourning has to assert himself in particular at this end. Well, he just did and drew the foul. Pulling off in the playoffs as he has had foul problems, turnover problems, still helped this Miami Heat ball club to get to the conference finals. Bulls by 14. They've led by as many as 17. Chicago has hit his last four shots. Uh, both Phil Jackson and uh, Pat Riley trying to keep their key players on the floor for a long period of time while still getting the short little rest which they need. But you got to have Hardaway, got to have Morning, got to have Jordan out on the floor. And Morning turned it over. Here's Jordan beating Mashburn. But not able to hit. Bushler is there. The Chicago bench done the job in his first half. They now lead 50 to 34. Morning couldn't handle the pass. Here's Brown with Bushler. He taps it back and Randy Brown puts it down. How about the play of Judd Bushler in his seventh season out of Arizona. Valuable player off the bench. Despite the up and down playing time, his play is always consistent. And he's hearing it from the crowd. Miami calls for time. Well, the Miami Heat not protecting the basketball. Good defense by Luke Longley holding his ground, knocking the ball loose. Actually, Zoe blocked it loose from himself. And Judd Butler not taking anything for granted, following up on the play. And then Randy Brown off to Butler, right back to Randy Brown on the beautiful give and go. 420 remaining. First half, the Bulls with a commanding 18-point lead. It's ridiculous, but that's the shot they're getting because the full defense collapsing so much. Longley with the back tap. Harper for three. Longley and Morning battling each other with much physical contact. That's been the story throughout the game. Longley was called for the foul as third. Well, the rim to our right. This one right here looks very, very tight. Looks tight for Miami in the first half as uh, Morning and Longley getting all tangled up. Joe Crawford right in there to make the quick call. Hardaway trying to use the screen. And a foul is called Hopper fighting his way through Brown. And Hopper is called for his third. And apparently a technical foul has been called. Luke Longley upset about that uh, previous sequence. On the replay, you could see Morning landed a shot on uh, Longley's head, and that's, I'm sure, what he's complaining about. The foul then was uh, called on Longley for the uh, aftermath to that. Well, this game really has not turned out as physical to this point that you would expect in what came out of game four. And on the other hand, the both teams have pretty much stayed away from the fussing and fuming with the officials until that Longley technical. But the Heat able to hang around after the shaky start. They were down 16-2 after six minutes of play. 
They hit only one of their first 12 from the field. And here's Morning, only a second field goal attempt. And not looking very comfortable with that shot. He did take it quickly, however, without fully with the ball. But Alonzo Morning having a bad offensive game, has to go to the offensive board, try to do his damage there. Jordan with the step. Oh, he adjusted on the shot while in midair. Also thought he was fouled. Yeah, he was looking all over for an official to give him a whistle. 66-54, Chicago. Brown missed the stuff. He thought he was fouled. Two minutes gone by in the third. That's the second time P.J. Brown had a dunk opportunity, unable to finish off the play. Miami just can't afford to have those kind of miscues. Mismatch with uh, Marley picking up Longley on a switch. Kukoc. For both Tim Hardaway and Alonzo Mourning to have big games and then get those contributions from the supporting cast. Hardaway holding up his end of the bargain. Mourning struggling. And that is number four on Mourning. We have seen this on many an occasion during the regular season and also earlier on in the uh, playoffs where Alonzo will uh, pick up what will be considered an un John Leonard has been uh, having difficulty locating shots. And a foul is called offensive foul on Alonzo Morning. That's his third personal. Well, Alonzo is struggling with every part of his offense, whether it's the post game, the jump shot here. He's trying to take Dennis Rodman in and throwing that right shoulder. Dennis didn't even really have to flop there. Nevertheless, it's just a habit to him to fall backwards, but clearly an offensive foul on Alonzo Morning. Offensive foul counts as a turnover, so that is number five committed by Morning. Uh, coming into this game, so important for both Tim Hardaway and Alonzo Morning to have big games and then get those contributions from the supporting cast. Hardaway holding up his end of the bargain. Morning struggling. And that is number four on Morning. We have seen this on many an occasion during the regular season and also earlier on in the uh, playoffs where Alonzo will uh, pick up what will be considered an unnecessary foul in the uh, third quarter. Bush was shot. Longley is right there. Luke Longley has come up strong. He has nine points and a technical foul. A technical foul has been called. Joe Crawford with a, uh, what he is motioning is a taunting, too much talk. Pointing in the direction of Dennis Rodman, who uh, keeps the, the streak alive in the technical foul department. He's trying to be a very uh, a diplomatic with Joe Crawford. I'm sure Dennis Rodman knew coming into this game, knew that Joe would... Uh, be keeping a close eye. Dennis Rahm did a very good job of knocking this ball loose to Luke Longley for that dunk and then talking and the clapping afterwards was what earned him the taunting technical. And that's 17 technicals in 13 playoff games. So they do have a 12 point lead. They led by as many as 18. Holloway rejected by Longley. Horror, the trailer taking it from Jordan, and it leads to a Miami timeout. The Bulls by 14 with 4.24 to go in this third quarter by Bushler. Jordan for three. The play by Rodman to get to that uh, loose ball. And Longley showing confidence, but a foul is called against Miami. It's on Austin. Well, it's been the tough defense of the Chicago Bulls that got them started off in this ballgame. Challenging shots, blocking shots, making it very difficult for Miami to run any kind of half-court offense. And when the Heat do get to the basket, it's been either Brian Williams or Luke Longley knocking them out of there. So Longley to the line, Miami now over the foul limit. You see Michael Jordan taking a seat. He had the good shooting first quarter, but uh, since then has not had the touch. Eight of 22 overall leads Chicago with 
20 points. Bulls now have a 15-point bowl with just under three minutes to go in the third. Oh, Mashburn back on the floor playing with the four fouls. Bull 74 and the Heat 62. That was the 25th three-pointer attempted by Miami. They're eight for 25. Kuko, Tony Kuko who just came on for Michael Jordan. Extended to a 76-62 lead. Eight points for Kuko. And Austin, who handles the ball well for a big man, uh, perhaps getting a little overconfident there. And turned it over. Good being a relative term there. <laughs> he did get all the way to the basket nicely enough, but just unable to finish. Bulls now lead by 11. Leonard only his second field goal. He has five points. Longley. Nice pass from Kukoc. Exactly what the Chicago Bulls need from Tony Kukoc. He's got to create out there now by putting the ball on the floor, get into the teeth of the defense, look for a score himself, or those kickouts to other players. But Tim Hardaway starting to get into the lane for Miami. Here's Leonard for three. Out of five seconds in the quarter. Kuko for three. And the tip at the buzzer. Randy Brown getting inside for the tip. Three quarters complete here in Chicago. And the Bulls lead the Heat 80 to 65. Gets underway. Chicago leading by as many as 18. Although Miami has put on a push, the lead never dipped under 10. Tim Hardaway, high man for Miami with 25. Alonzo Mourning, 0 for 3 from the field, just 5 points. Michael Jordan has not shot well, got off early, but... Uh, since Remember, Michael Jordan opened up looking very sharp, very crisp, hitting his shots. Look at the center matchup. Alonzo Mourning has been severely outplayed by Luke Longley. Well, his game four was exceptional, coming off the prediction with the 18 points, 14 rebounds, and setting a very physical presence. And on this particular play right Ashburn with nine of his 18 points in this fourth quarter. Chicago Bulls playing without Scotty Pippen with that injured foot. Played seven minutes. That's it. Hopper for three. Yes. We might look back on that shot as uh, one of the critical ever since that first quarter. 15 point Chicago lead. Mashburn. And Hopper able to reach for the loose ball. We're down to 420 remaining in this fourth quarter. And it has been complete domination on the backboards by Chicago despite their bad shooting. Ron Harper chipped in on the board. Seven offensive rebounds for Dennis Robin. 20 for the Bulls. Shot clock at three. Uh, Rodman lost sight of the 24-second uh, clock. He did not have the right-hand baseline hook in the repertoire. No. That's about the only shot he would have been able to get up. Bushler is looking for the three, but changed his mind, and Longley able to finish it off. Luke Longley with 14. Well, he heard the wrath of Michael Jordan, I'm sure, after game four for never getting involved early in the game. Nice bounce back one by Luke Longley to really overshadow and outplay Alonzo Mourning in game five. Right here on NBC, Ron Hopper hitting one of two. At the line, 100 to 82, Chicago. Here's John Crotty who checked in just moments ago, rejected. Miami will retain possession. Luke Longley with his fifth block shot. 